Welcome to a new physics video. In this presentation I'm going to connect this voltmeter across these four batteries or cells and this variable power supply. And in the second step I'm going to connect a light bulb across all these devices. Let's get started. Now let's connect this voltmeter across each of the batteries. So the first one the reading, if it's not visible from a distance, is 3.01 volts. For the second one, the reading is 5.73 volts. For the third one, The reading is 4.82 volts. And for the last one, the reading is 1.60 volts. Now the voltmeter is connected across the output of this variable power supply. And if we turn the knob, the voltage starts increasing. Now the light bulb is connected across the variable power supply. So let's start increasing the voltage. As you can see, as the voltage increases, the brightness of the light bulb increases as well. So let's now connect this light bulb across each of these cells or batteries and at the same time read again the voltage across the terminals of these batteries. If you were to make a prediction of which of these batteries would make a light bulb brighter, I'm sure that many of you would think that the ones that register the higher voltage would make the light bulb brighter. You will see that the results are a little puzzling and not quite what you expect. In the first case the voltage is 0.01 now and there is absolutely no light coming from the light bulb. In this case, again, there's no reading, the voltage is zero across this battery and there's no light coming from the light bulb. In this case, the reading of the voltmeter is 4.50, slightly less than the original reading and the light bulb is rather bright. And in the last case, we have a rather dim light bulb and the voltage is 1.46, again slightly less than the original reading. So what is the explanation for all this? In this case, here is a summary of the values of terminal voltage across the cells when the light bulb was not connected. And then you see now the values of the voltage when the light bulb is connected together with the state of the light bulb. No light, dim, bright. So the results are a little puzzling. You expect that if you provide enough voltage across the light bulb, it should light up. However, we notice that as soon as we connected the first two across the light bulb, there was no light and there was no voltage reading practically. And the explanation is the internal resistance of these batteries was not taken into account. The first two are flat batteries and they are still able to provide some voltage when you connect the voltmeter directly across their terminals but as soon as you put a load in the circuit there's no current flowing through the circuit. They are flat. These two are relatively new. This has an EMF of 1.5 volts. This has an EMF of 4.5 volts. 
So the explanation to this apparent puzzle is that the internal resistance of these two batteries is very high in comparison with these two. The older the battery gets, the higher the internal resistance. So, in a real battery, you have to consider the internal resistance of the battery.